So these are two local plants that we taking to plant on the bands as a live fence. So the live fence has uh, many different uh, reason why we do live fence. One big reason is the mulching material. So it's a good biomass. They will shed a lot of leaves, and we can take the leaves and uh, mulch everywhere. It's also some good medicinal plants, like uh, Adatola vasica. They, they will apply, apply the on the cattle paste. wounds. Yeah. And the uh, jatropha, we love it. I can make a toothbrush with it. Can you do toothbrush? And, uh, it's yeah, no. you can. You can make one toothbrush? Yeah. Not the tender one, the little bit, uh, the brown one, brownish one. Yeah, this that one, brownish is better. Yeah. So apparently the milk is very good for your teeth. Uh, we move the bar. Okay. So you got bristles inside. And the milk is very pleasant okay. in the mouth. Mm -hmm. You can brush your teeth. Indeed. So we're multiplying them. We're multiplying our abundance of uh, medicine and biomass. Not only this, also many other plants we're going to do that. This is the... Um, uh, Parvati, Parvati Bai, they come here. Parvati Bai land actually. So we, with the help of interns, she is developing this farm. I think you can see some of the buns have been put for the water wasting. But the middle plant and water, some harvesting structures and some cuttings have already been introduced. The life for life fans. But the question is in permaculture, what normally we talk about, the you use the local resources where you can get the uh, uh, sufficient information and material is there. You propagate and you use the local material and since the people are there and they have to multiply the same species, they have to introduce, they use it in different purposes, not only just for the live fence, also for the uh, uh, soil fertility and biomass aspect and some medicinal uses. And that is the reason they have selected two species. One is the your, uh, your this is Adatoda vasica. I think this is one of the very good uh, uh, drought resistant and is very good uh, fence material and non browsable. And uh, most of the in dry uh, areas they go as a grow them as a uh, fence material. I think a lot of not only the uh, non browsable and is a fence material also it is it is a good biomass plant and there's a lot of medicinal uses. I think. Many, I think if you go, each and every village has their own uh, uh, way of use this leaf and stem for medicines as far as the lot of weaving baskets and other things also they, they use it. It's very good insecticidal also, lot of medicinal properties along with the insect, uh, insecticidal uh, properties also. So another uh, plant, uh, it is, uh, it is uh, your Jetropha curica, the botanical name is Jetropha curica, one of the very drought resistant. And this is a miracle plant, I think now they are calling it a biodiesel plant and most of the seeds they collect and crush and they use it as a biodiesel. Also it is very drought resistant, easily you can propagate through cuttings. That is the advantage of this, both species are is the, uh, the Arathoda vasica and your uh, uh, the Jetropha curica are the propagated through cuttings. So seeds also possible but the cuttings are more efficient because the number of cuttings and number of uh, uh, plant material is available easily you can propagate than the seed. I think that is the reason we use as a live fence very good and lot of biomass available with this uh, curica, the um, Jetropha curica. The, the interesting uh, quality of this plant is you can see the this is a green and immediately after just before falling down the leaf will turn into yellow. The yellow any leaf which turns into yellow and falls, the decomposition process is very faster. I think you can see all the all the yellow process, this one, the very good biomass and the decomposition is very faster. Even in the, this is the your curica. Even in case of your Anathoda vasica also, you can see the leaf. This leaf is decomposed, decomposition is very faster. So that is the advantage with the both species as a live fence and easily cutting through the uh, uh, cutting um, propagating through the cuttings are advantage as both are non browsable but these plants are a lot of medicinal uses not only medicinal uses the stems can be cut and every time they can use it reinforcement of their fence not only just once they introduce wherever the not the so thick if they it become a thin then they cut the same species they can introduce along the fence and they use it as a live mulch, live fence also live mulch also sometimes 
so this is a the biomass aspect is a miracle as i shown this not only the this thing as uh, francisco was talking about he uses as a good um, brush as well and is a uh, because your teeth this it brings lot of strength to the teeth with the milk the milk has a lot of medicinal properties which they use most of the rural area they will make in the morning with the with the your toothbrush and this is one of the very good toothbrush and uh, yesterday i was talking to one of the villager he is talking about uh, not only the toothbrush and good fence material also lot of biomass also it is uh, uh, use it this milk use it in uh, to uh, uh, to um, to uh, use as a anti malaria uh, medicine also as well because that is uh, i i didn't know all these things but uh, yesterday was one villager was talking about that also so like that when you are introducing in permaculture we not only one function that when you are introducing a selecting a species you should you look at the many multifunctional species you have to select then you have to introduce that is the advantage so not only looking at as a just plant as a plant you are respect but at the same time you have to multifunctional uses also very very important in permaculture so that is the reason we cut all the uh, making some small pieces and we can introduce as a uh, live fence and already we have done some and there are all villagers and uh, they normally they, that is the, this is the material we got it from local is all along the road sides and everywhere but uh, people are also very acquainted with this plant i think what they know better we have to introduce and uh, multiply that species not getting a exotic and introducing into your farming systems i think that is very chaos so that's what we we'll always we we'll encourage people to look go for local material local plant and local uh, knowledge so that is the reason we ask them to introduce this species along the fence so this is one of the uh, method of planting to the uh, fence already we have fence the other 